Hi, a good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now we're definitely going to get right back in two for women only. And this is take number two. And we're certainly going to finish up chapter one with this take. And it goes like this. Now, before we get into the, before we start ground rules, I said I was going to go back to this page right here, which it has a section. On one side, it says, our surface understanding. And then it has an arrow pointing to the other side, which means what that means in practice. So at this time, I'm going to read on the left and then what this means in practice. And there's going to be seven statements. This is number one. Men need respect. Men would rather feel unloved than inadequate and disrespected. Men are insecure. Despite their in control exterior, men often feel like imposters and are insecure that their inadequacies will be discovered. Men are providers. Even if you personally made enough income to support the family's lifestyle, it would make no difference to the mental burden he feels to provide. Men want more sex. Your sexual desire for your husband profoundly affects his sense of well-being and confidence in all areas of his life. Men are visual. Even happily married men struggle with being pulled toward live and recollected images of other women. Men are unromantic clods. Actually, most men enjoy romance, sometimes in different ways, and want to be romantic, but hesitate because they doubt they can succeed. Men care about appearance. You don't need to be a size three, but your man does need to see you making the effort to take care of yourself. And he will take on significant cost or inconvenience in order to support you. That does complete the seven. Now we're going to go into, before we start, ground rules. And it goes like this. You're probably raring to turn the page, but before you get to look inside the inner lives of men... Here are some ground rules. First, if you are looking for male bashing or proof that your husband is indeed a cad, you won't find it here. I honor the men who shared their hearts with me. And I hope that by sharing their insight, more women might come to understand and appreciate the wonderful differences between us. If you're looking for male bashing or proof that your husband is indeed a cad, you won't find it here for reiteration. Second, this is not an equal treatment of male-female differences, nor do I deal at all with how your man can or should relate to you. Yes, we women obviously also have needs. And many other truths discussed in these pages apply to us, too. 
But since the theme is the inner lives of men and my space is limited, I'm focusing entirely on how we relate to men, not the other way around. That is also why the survey did not poll gay men. Third, recognize that there are always exceptions to every rule. When I say that most men appear to think a certain way, realize that most means exactly that. Most, not all. I'm making generalizations out of necessity and inevitably there will be exceptions. One reason I did the professional survey was to determine what was an exception and what was normal. Fourth, I'm addressing what is normal inside men, not necessarily what is right in their outward behavior. And since these pages are not the place for a lengthy explanation, excuse me, a lengthy exploration of any one issue, you can always go to www.4-womenonlyrantogether.com to explore more resources, including the entire survey. Fifth, I need to warn you that some of the enclosed insight may be distressing because it affects our view of the men in our lives and our view of ourselves. It was tempting to exclude certain things, but I realized that I was hearing things men often weren't willing or able to say directly to their spouses or girlfriends. So it was critical to include these comments. But please, realize that in most cases, these comments have little to do with us. They are just the way men are wired. And we should celebrate the fact. After all, it is because he is wired as a man that you love him. The more we understand the men in our lives the better we can support and love them in the way they need to be loved. Finally, the most important, I hope, that this book is not just about learning fascinating new secrets. The more we understand the men in our lives, the better we can support and love them in the way they need to be loved. In other words, this revelation is supposed to to change and improve us. So, read on, ladies, and join me as we look into the inner lives of men. And that does complete chapter one here on Poem Praise 2. So, stay tuned to chapter two. And the title of chapter two coming up for you is entitled your love is not enough why your respect means more to him than even your affection so until next time I want you and your family to be blessed and have a wonderful rest of the evening. And it be at thy will, I will talk with you soon. Until then, later y'all.